Alright, quick disclaimer, I'm one dude and I've never made a VR game before, but I'm very passionate about VR and I love making shit, so keep that in mind when you're watching this video. So after playing a lot of VR games over the past 4 or so years, I've had some ideas as to what I'd like to see in a game. Firstly, a unique movement system that makes use of what's possible with VR. While a few games like Gorilla Tag have delved into unique movement solutions, I feel like there's still a lot to be explored when it comes to VR movement. I want to play a game that makes use of your real life movement to move you in the game, and feels more intuitive than pushing a joystick. Secondly, a mechanic that hasn't been explored all that much in VR is dismemberment. I've always been interested in the concept of a dismemberment system in a VR game, and I'm surprised that I haven't seen this done before. Finally, we need more good multiplayer games. Almost every game is better with multiplayer, and I feel like there just aren't enough unique VR multiplayer games for me to play with my friends. Taking all these ideas into account, I decided to get started making my own VR game, which for now will be called Neck Braces, and I'll explain why that is in a bit. To begin, I opened up Blender and modeled a beautiful, muscular figure to act as my character. I imported him into Unity and then instantly remembered that I have no idea what the hell I'm doing, so I went to YouTube and found a channel called Valum, which helped me to get the basic VR setup working in Unity, as well as the inverse kinematics of the player character. And just like that, we have our simple player character working perfectly. Uh, hang on, I'll just... And just like that, we have our simple player character working perfectly. Now you may notice that the legs are really floppy right now, and that's because I tried to make the legs an active ragdoll, which did not work super well, so I made the legs stiff. But the hips were still loose, so I made a super fancy script that attaches the hips' bones to the body. And look at that, we're bouncing. As I described previously, I want a game with a unique movement system, unlike most other VR games. And so this locomotion system is based around your real life movement. And bouncing. Just imagine that you're a human shaped bouncy ball and the direction of your momentum is based on the direction you're leaning and that's pretty much how the movement system works in the game. As you can see from the footage playing in the background, the center of your play space is marked with a white sphere and the direction that you move in your play space correlates with the direction of your character's movement. You can also slide by crouching and jump by standing up quickly from a crouch position. This means that you can run, jump, slide, and wall jump all without any controller input. No joystick, no jump button, and yet the game has a full parkour oriented movement system. So far I've been playtesting the game practically non-stop, and I have to say that the movement feels really immersive and intuitive so far, and I'm at a point where I can probably release a demo pretty soon once I get some levels made for this game. Make sure to join the Discord for the game, link in the description, so you can see when I do eventually release a movement demo. Now that I have a movement system mostly working, I have to start making the dismemberment system, which brings me to why the game is called Neck Braces. In the game, you can get all of your limbs cut off, but you don't die until you lose your head, which is protected by, you guess it, a neck brace. As of right now, the dismemberment is almost perfectly working for the legs, but does not currently work for the arms, and I haven't gotten to making the head cut offable. Cut offable? Is that a word? Doesn't matter. The fact is, you can't cut off the head or the arms, but you can pretty consistently hack off your legs and knock the meat chunks around, which is fun. Anyway, that's pretty much all the progress on my game so far, so make sure to give me feedback in the comments, and you can support me if you want by sharing the video and subscribe to my channel. Uh, see ya.